Hello everyone, um, today you join me on the, the River Wye at Hereford. Um, I'm fishing a stretch called Belvedere, it's um, around Hereford Town Centre. Um, I'm fishing with my uh, Daiwa Amorphous Whisker Match Rod. I'm using a, a loafer float and it takes about 4 grams. I'm fishing with an, an Olivet again, uh, with a shot above and below this time, size 14 hook. And on the hook length itself, I've got a number six. I'm uh, fishing with double caster. I've been using a bait dropper, which is that. And I've been filling it with casters, dropping it down, loose feeding. Um, I've managed to catch a nice roach around about a pound or so. I've had a perch around about half a pound and a smaller roach and a few bleak. Um, so I'm going to carry on and see if I can catch a few more. Again, you've got the uh, ever present bleak. They seem to be everywhere in the wire at the moment. But in between, there are a few uh, better fish. So uh, the, the swim I'm fishing is around about seven foot deep. And I'm fishing on the inside. Um, the water's got a lovely colour on it. And uh, I think I'm just catching the end of what uh, could be the best weather we have now before winter really sets in. So I'm trying to make the most. Catch you in a bit again. Now, this is really what I've come for. Um, it's not as big as the other one I caught, but as you can see, it's a beautiful roach. And that's what I've come up the river for. I think you'll agree, folks, that's a pretty tidy roach in, in anyone's book. It's brilliant fishing up, yeah? You should have a go. A lovely purchase time, about half a pound or so. so it's all going well at the moment. Okay, what I've done now is I've panned you around just so you can see the river. There's, um, Quite a few people fishing up here today. There's lovely platforms for people to fish on. Um, it looks like there's several on both banks. Uh, it, it just seems to be uh, ideal conditions, to be honest with you. So uh, without any further ado, I'm afraid I'm going to be carrying on fishing for a bit. And normally I wouldn't entertain um, trying to swing out a um, roach over half a pound. Uh, I did just though, and uh, this is, I was about to bring it in as a part of the course, this came off. So I'll try not to do that again. Okay, um, I'm sorry for the uh, lack of filming and commentary. I'm using a size 14 hook. I've got a BB, a 3.5 gram Olivet, another BB above it. That's above the hook length. And I'm fishing a um, chubber type float with an orange top. I'll show you the float now. There you go. It's a crystal make. And it's got a lovely orange dome to it. Uh, and the weight on it is 5 AAA or 4.4 grams. Um, I'm using a four pound line. I've got one of my new 506 Abu reels on. And I've also got the a rod which I've used quite a few times on other occasions. It's a Daiwa Amorphous Whisker Match Rod with the splice tip. Um, I'm, uh, I'm obviously, I'm like trying to make the most of today because they don't come that often, not for me anyway. And, uh, you know, it's a, a good occasion. Usually I, I'm struggling for fish, but at the moment they're in front of me, whether that lasts for any length of time or not, I, I couldn't tell you. But, um, I've had roach up to a pound or so, and I've had a couple of nice perch. 
loads of bleak. I haven't had a day size yet, but you never know. So I'll swing you round. Hopefully you can see where I'm fishing. Maybe a little bit closer. There we go, and uh, hopefully you can pick the float up. I'm literally it's one rod length out that I'm fishing, um, so it's not anywhere near the middle of the river. This time so it is a small dace as it happens, but it is a small one. And something I'm quite aware of is uh, you have to keep the feed going in all the time because if you don't, the, the fishing drops off. You know, it's a big deep river, there's lots of other guys fishing down there. And you have to put quite a bit of bait, bait in to get past the bleak, because the bleak will just take you straight away. And I've got a heavy ground bait on, rather a heavy ground bait mix, which is a, a Mark Pollard mix. Um, that's taking the bait right down. I know the uh, locals in this area, they actually use um, molehill earth from uh, moles, obviously. And there's a rugby ground behind me, and uh, usually this, or the, mo the, the molehill is, earth that is, is um, usually readily available, but the moles have not come to the surface. Maybe it's the uh, they buried burrow down under the ground deeper. So even the locals haven't been able to use that. They're using um, various makes of ground bait, all heavy mixes like I'm using. As you can see, it's a lovely color to the river. The days when you can catch it like this are few and far between. The the river is up actually, it's up about three foot in depth. So this, this swim would normally be about four foot deep and you would probably um, have to fish it in the middle of the river I'd imagine. But because of the water is on, it's, uh, it's, you know, the depth of water is three foot above its normal level. It's pushing the fish into the side. You get, um, I'm dragging the bottom, so a lot of the time you get false bites, but every now and then you look into a fish, and uh, the last couple have been the old enemy. Bleak, which is, the river is actually riddled with them. I've noticed that at Monmouth, and uh, the last time I fished here at a place called Ain, which is outside Hedyford Town as well. You've uh, you've got to like try and get below the bleak because uh, there's billions of them in uh, the River Wye, and more often than not, they get to the bait before all the other fish do. So you just have to try and work through it and take the bleak with the roach and the dace and whatever else comes along. Like you know, I have had a couple of perch, which uh, the first perch I've caught on the Y to be honest with you. In the past, I've had loads of um, chub, mainly, which I said before in previous video, the, these were caught at the higher places of the River Wyke, um, Irwood, Bilth Wells, Liswen, and I was, uh, I fished uh, in those places around about 40 years ago, so 
they're all taken over by the Wayanusk Federation now, which I mentioned before. Um, you can officially hear why you can ask Foundation Waters on a day ticket and um, they have a booking system which you go online and you book a, a day using their calendars and they only allow a few anglers on their waters at a time so um, if you're interested in Babel and you know nice size chub this is a, a good option. There's, there are a lot of videos out at the moment um, which um, shows people fishing the Y at the um, YNS Foundation waters and it, most anglers are doing quite well for Babel there and Chub. Um, I would take it these people they, they, that fish these waters are not that interested in fishing for roach and um, dace like I am. Obviously you take whatever's going but I've been, I've been a, it's been a long time coming this out catching a few roach out of this river. I've uh, managed to catch them in the past on the river Mono in the uh, Monmouth Town Centre. I think it's time for me to put some more feed in. I don't know whether you noticed that then, that was probably bleak messing around my float. They lifted out of the water. It's a real pain to get through to be honest with you. Just to show you, um, there's the bait dropper with the casters in, and you just flick the lid over, and there's a little hook on the top which holds it. The hook um, goes through the back of a loop that's attached to the bait dropper, and it fit, uh, the hook fits into a piece of cork, and you literally just drop that down into the water, and as you do so, it releases the bait right on the bottom, which is where you want it. There you go, come back empty. Oh yeah, yeah. I've had a couple of roach and um, a couple of perch. Yeah, but the guy below me is um, slaughtering them. He is. He's using a whip. The guy below me is slaughtering them. He's using a whip. He's uh, been having loads. Hey folks, I just have some which a bit unusual for a white, but it looks to me very much like a rope. So I'll look right on the top. It's got big red things. So there we go. I'm going to put it in the net before it goes. Well, it's been a lovely day fishing. And as always, if you like my videos, give me the thumbs up for a like. Um, click on the bell notifications. As always, folks, um, give me a like if you like my videos, a thumbs up, and also if you um, want to see more of my videos, click on the bell notification and also the red subscribe button if you uh, want to see more of my videos which are in my video library and um, there's ones on cab fishing there um, there's uh, a couple on the river Rumney there's a couple on the Y but um, by far the best day I've had on the Y this year 
and for a long time fishing for roach has been today so it's uh, been a little bit of a red letter day for me maybe not as big as bag of fish as you see some people catch but i would imagine i've got around about 10 pound of quality roach along with some nice perch um, a couple of small dace in there and uh, quite a few bleak again so no further ado i'm going to carry on Hey folks, I yet again caught another decent roach. Beautiful. Hey folks, it's starting the uh, sun's gone down now, so I'm going to stay. Okay, um, it's starting to get dark now, um, and it's the 5th of November, so I can imagine there's going to be a few fireworks going off shortly. Um, my time is 20 to 3, 22, actually it's 20 to 4. So I don't think I'll be fishing that much longer. I'll see if I can focus you in again to see my swim. I don't know whether you'll be able to pick up a float when I'm fishing, so we'll have a try anyway. Well, there was a fish on then and it uh, got off, so I would imagine it was uh, bleak because the uh, whole thing Roach are small, they do give quite a good account to themselves. There you go folks, I hope you can pick that up. There we are, another fish. It's been um, outstanding fishing. Obviously, uh, I'm an amateur. If I was like a really uh, good angler, I probably would have had 60 or 70 pound of fish out here today. But as you all know, I'm only a pleasure angler. So if I can catch 15, 20 pound, I'm happy. And this is uh, one of the better days I've had this year. So I am trying to stay as long as I can and make the most of it. So hopefully we can catch a couple more before it does get too dark for me to go carry on fishing. I've been using, like I said, Mark Pollard ground bait. Um, and I've put casters in it. And that's what I've been feeding most of the time and using the bait dropper then to put casters. And this is purely to stop the bleak getting at the bait because if you put maggots in, loose feeding them, the bleak will be on them straight away. So you need to try and get your bait down as quick as possible.
the brick. I'm just checking the time, it's about 25 minutes. I think there's only about 30 odd minutes uh, fishing time on this camera. That's for recording space purposes. So. I don't know whether you've seen that then folks, there was a rather large uh, pike chasing this fish in there. You had any pike over there? There's one just come up just now. Those who have and those who haven't, please do so, it's going to help me.